Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. What's up, family? Welcome back to Tommy Bites TV. Thank y'all for being here. If you are new, welcome to the channel. My name is Tommy. Over here, I try to give you news that you can use and hopefully you can just stay aware of certain things. A lot is happening around us. We see what's happening with the store closures throughout the United States. They're calling it an apocalypse retail situation. At least last year they were. This year they're not trying to call it that. And I'm not sure why because even more stores are closing this year just like in 2022. But this what I'm bringing you today, you see the thumbnail, whatever it is and whatever the title is, guys, is major. I told you about Dollar General doing the same exact thing just a few months ago and a lawsuit being brought against them in 2020. Well, the same thing is happening here when it comes to Walmart and Target. So Walmart and Target are under fire for overcharging shoppers. Investigation is still ongoing. This is really a quick article and I also have another news story within this one that I'm gonna put in here about these stores that are actually closing, but how many stores are closing and which stores are actually closing. So with inflation driving up food prices and people paying closer attention to their receipts, Two of the largest U.S. retailers, Walmart and Target, have been caught in a lawsuit for overcharging customers. The class action suit alleges that the company has shelf pricing that frequently misrepresents the prices that customers pay at the point of sale. So let's get down to what exactly happened. It is a class action lawsuit. In August of 2022, two separate class action lawsuits were filed against Walmart and Target by Yoram Khan. Khan claims that the companies are violating the Illinois Consumer Fraud and Deception Practices Act and the Illinois Uniform Deceptive Trade Practices Act by false advertising. Ongoing investigations, legal entities are investigating the claims and customers are invited to share their experience. So they're asking you to please check your receipts. And more and more people are, you guys, check in their receipts because the prices are already high. Now they probably could have got away with this if we weren't dealing with this inflation we're dealing with, but everybody's pinching pennies right now. So the investigation page states that many customers may not notice the difference or not take the time to protest the issue, but the difference can add up over time for frequent Walmart and Target shoppers. If you've been charged more at the register, you're encouraged to join the investigation and fill out a form online. Most of you know that I am located in North Carolina by way of South Carolina, where I was born and raised. So fines in North Carolina. Both companies have already been fined in North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services for price scanning errors, leading to overcharging customers. Six Walmart stores and three Target stores were fined, with Walmart paying a total of $22,830 and Target paying $13,810. Dollar General and Family Dollar, like I told you, were the biggest offenders, with Dollar General paying $136,795 and Family Dollar paying $155,000. While Walmart and Target are facing individual lawsuits, Dollar General is dealing with a statewide lawsuit filed by Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost. I gave you that story. I will make sure to link that in the description so you can check that story out as well. Yost claims that customers were being charged too much at the register. Dollar General were temporarily closed for a day to retag their shelf prices, but the state is continuing its efforts, having also filed a lawsuit against Family Dollar. So in conclusion of this story, before I get to the next story in here, Walmart and Target are facing allegations of overcharging customers, violating consumer protection laws and false advertising. The ongoing investigation is inviting customers to share their experiences and those who have been charged more are encouraged to join the investigation. Both companies have already been fined in North Carolina. I repeat, Walmart and Target, 
Both have been fined in North Carolina for doing all of this for price scanner errors. Dollar General is facing a separate statewide lawsuit for overcharging customers at the register. So y'all watch your wallets, watch your budget, watch your receipts and see. And don't feel bad about going to them and telling them, hey, this cost this on the shelf. Why am I paying this? At Let me know what you think about this story down in the comments. Now let's talk about the store closures. Before we go any further, y'all, please help this video out. Give it a thumbs up as many as you can. Share these videos out. That is the way that you, that's the best way you can help this channel actually grow and get out to more people so they'll know what's going on out here. Turn your notifications on and let's jump into it. More than 800 stores are closing across the U.S. in 2023. And I have a full list. I won't give you locations, but I will try to link this um, actual thing down in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. More than a dozen major retailers are expected to close at least 800 U.S. stores in 2023. Macy's, Walmart's, Big Lots are among the chains that are shutting down stores. Bed Bath & Beyond is planning to close 416 stores. That's the most of any retailer on this list. The reasoning behind some of the store closures depend on the store. Some are closing because of bankruptcy proceedings. Some are closing because of, they say, lack of store traffic into the store, um, not performing as they should. So the reasons vary depending on where the store is and who the store is. Bed Bath & Beyond is set to close 416 stores. They are pretty much closing because they are in financial distress right now. And they're shuttering at least 65 stores in Canada also. The company which had, they had 953 North American stores just over a year ago says it's aiming for a final count of 360 flagship stores and 120 Bye Bye Baby stores. So. Bed Bath & Beyond closing 416 stores. Tuesday morning is closing 265 stores. Not much to report on Tuesday morning other than it is a Dallas-based home goods company and it is shuttering more than half of its stores as it recognizes it is now in bankruptcy proceedings as we speak. Next is Gap and Banana Republic. Up to 74 stores will be closing. Four Banana Republic stores have already closed this year, two years after parent company Gap said it would close approximately 350 Gap and Banana Republic stores by the end of 2023. A company maintained the um, completed closures show 276 stores have been closed since 2020, leaving as many as 74 remaining to hit the stated target so they have 74 stores to go y'all they say this is not an apocalypse a retail apocalypse i say it is next on the list is party city who will be closing 22 stores 12 locations are currently up for auction while another 10 will close in february as the company navigates bankruptcy and we are pretty much almost done with february as of next week before I go to the next store, let me just say that all of these stores closing means unemployment rates should be going up. So watch out for what they're talking about if you do watch the news, because they tend to lie a lot and say that the economy is doing fine and we're not, you know, ha having any issues with unemployment. Um, matter of fact, they say employment is up. So I ask you, what do you think? Does this sound like employment is up? Does it sound like people are not out here um, desperate to find a job? So this video wouldn't be a video if I didn't put Walmart in there, you guys. You know that I try to cover as many Walmart stores as I possibly can because that's where a majority of people do shop. Whether they like the Walmart or not, that might be the only store in their community, you know, for miles. And maybe they don't have transportation or maybe they find better deals there than they do in other areas. Whatever the case is, people still shop Walmart in spite of those who don't. So Walmart is slated to close seven stores. I've told you about those stores so what's happening with them the big box retailer is shuttering five stores and two remaining pickup only concept stores citing poor performance 
following a trend of Walmart closings, a handful of stores across the various states each year. Now, back in 2020, I told you Walmart would be closing 154 stores and they have stuck true to their word when I tell you they have been closing, they have been closing. And not only has Walmart been clo just closing their, their regular stores, they have been closing, you know, not say closing, but uh, reevaluating and repositioning and moving people around and basically laying off people in their Atlanta fulfillment center to replace them with AI because they feel like that will perform better. And they're also replacing a lot of cashiers in their stores to self checkout. And they're also having monitoring where they can zoom in on your face and zoom in on what you're purchasing to make sure you're not stealing goods at their self checkout. I apologize if I'm talking faster than I normally talk because y'all know I'm a slow talker, but this, I don't want it to be a extremely long video, but Big Locks, it's the next thing on the list. They are closing seven stores. The discount chain is shutting down three stores in California and four in Colorado as the retailer moves towards small towns and away from urban areas. Macy's is closing four stores. Macy's will close four stores during the first quarter in shopping malls in California, Colorado, Hawaii, Hawaii, <laughs> Hawaii and Maryland as part of its three year plan to close 125 locations. So this next store, never heard of it before in my life. It's called The Real Real. They will be closing six stores. This is a, that's probably why I've never heard of it because you know, I don't dress like this. The luxury consignment market is shutting four stores and two consignment offices across the US to cut approximately $2 million cost. JC Penney's will be shutting down two of their stores. JC Penney locations in Oswego, New York and Elkhart, Indiana will be closing this year following the wind down of over 150 stores since 2020. And yes, Amazon has made that list, but they have an unspecified number of stores that they're going to be shutting down. So Amazon said earlier this month that it is closing several fresh grocery and go convenience stores. I did a I did a whole story on this and will pause its planned expansion while the company reevaluates its physical store strategy. So basically all of these stores are reevaluating a lot of things, which mean you going to be out of a job, sis, bruh. So that's it for their list. But I do know that Aldi did close a store as well. I do have a video on that. So feel free to look through my catalog of store closing playlists and see what stores are closing and if they are in your area or not. I didn't bother to do many areas in here. As I said, I didn't want to have this be a long video. Let me know down in the comments, you guys. How do you feel about all these store closures? Does it make you weary? Does it make you want to go ahead and stock up because you don't know if the next location is gonna be your location? Because that's how I feel. I feel like you don't know from day to day and we barely have a lot of stores here when it comes to Walmart. I have to drive 30 minutes between any of them, sometimes 40, and especially when it comes to Costco, I have to go to a whole nother town to get to a Costco's. We only have a Sam's Club and that is in Hickory, which is not even where I live. So I hope this was news that you could use. Please hit that like button. I'm basically begging you guys. Baby, 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 baby. Let me stop. Y'all, please hit that like button. Share it out with your family, your friends, social media. Comment down below and let's talk about it nicely. Okay? See you guys in the next video.